information because they don't care. Even though the independent scientists, it was on Drudge a few weeks ago. We actually talked about it last time I was on with you. Um, they said that, yeah, there's Fukushima radiation coming over. We're concerned about it. We should begin testing. And Seattle said, no, we're not <laughs> going to do anything like that. And California shutting off the counters and everything like that. So that's good. If people actually go out and do something, yeah. they should be congratulated. Good job for being an actual citizen who cares about not eating Fukushima radiation that we said in 2011 was coming over here mm -hmm. and has already hit. Mm -hmm. But they're just now pretending like it's a huge revelation that Fukushima might affect us in some way. Well, see, and, and there's some new, there's some breaking news out of Seattle. You mentioned Seattle. We have two possible sources of fumes have been identified for making 18 workers sick at the Hanford nuclear site. Now, this is one of the oldest nuclear sites in the country. They've had numerous problems there. And this really highlights one of the key threats. I mean, now we could have a false flag attack. We could have a terrorist attack with a nuclear weapon, with a suitcase bomb. But the thing that's happening is we've got these aging nuclear power plants. And the former head of the NRC, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, has said that after in the wake of Fukushima, he said that we need to shut down every one of our nuclear power plants in the U.S. because they're fundamentally flawed, the design. And that we could have the same type of problem that they have at Fukushima. And it's not just a meltdown of the reactor. It can also be the stored waste that's there. And now we're seeing at Fukushima what a problem stored waste is. And that's being done at all these various sites. So these are all potential Potentially much larger than a suitcase nuke that's going to go off. Of course, they're going to use a suitcase nuke to, to crack down on what's left of any civil liberties. And what does Obama anything. want to do? He wants to build dozens of more nuclear power plants across oh, yeah. the United States. Absolutely. It's almost like everything that makes sense, the very opposite must be proposed by the United States government. Mm -hmm. Every single thing that makes sense, yeah. you know, <laughs> over and over again. But yeah, also hundreds of them are leaking and everything like that. I mean, it's a, it's a ticking time bomb. There's no question. And they're building along along the coast. Mm -hmm. And then they also have... It's building weird, them on this, fault lines. This weird double speak mm -hmm. where they say, oh, climate change is going to ruin everything. New York will be underwater. We're all going to die. Let's build more nuclear power plants along these very areas where we're, you know, claiming that climate change is going to ruin everything. So yeah. they don't even believe their own propaganda. Right. I mean, if yeah. they did, they'd have to do something about it, right? Yeah. But instead, they, they propose all these plants to build along these very areas they say are going to be underwater and sunken with tsunamis and tidal waves and everything. That's another thing. The nuclear plants, I mean, tomorrow, there could be major issues with all these things. All these things could go wrong at any point. We have to live life with the understanding that we're here for a very limited time. We're here to protect our lineage. We're here to protect, uh, you know, our, our future. And the only way we can do that is to really get focused and understand what matters. Because, I mean, you could die tomorrow driving, mm -hmm. re really. But mm -hmm. the, the greater threat to humanity is this criminal element that does want nuclear attacks in New York to fuel what they ultimately want to accomplish. That's right. You know, and I, I often hear from Christians who are very trusting in God. It's like, you know, we just need to leave everything to God and just not worry about that. But, you know, I, I think it's true in so many ways. Somebody has said, you know, you, you believe as if everything depends on God, but you act as if it depends on you. That's we right. need to take it as if everything depended on us. We have been put here to be responsible for the things that have been put in our charge as stewards of our family, of our country, of our culture, of our environment. And we need to do everything that we can to protect those things. And God will ultimately have the decision about what's going to, to happen. To stand before God and say, I'm an imperfect person. I've made mistakes. I don't know everything. I don't know the answer to everything. But I'm willing to work for good before the creator. Who you know, Just say, I'm ready to work for good. And it will come. And we wanted to get into the timeline of the missing nukes, which I got off on a tangent on all this. It's inspirational to me. I wanted to talk about that. I think we have a clip ready to queue up in a second as well. But specifically, the timeline, and we have the articles as well to show on screen. Basically, we received this high-level military intelligence that a nuclear transfer with no papers was going from Dias Air Force Base in Texas to South Carolina. Now, we were concerned about this and made the decision to go ahead and release it based on the fact that this was a super high-level military uh, intelligence person. And then we went out and we released it, and we weren't really sure what was going to go down because we just put it out there. We put the text out there. We you know, uh, protected the source, just said, hey, there's some, there's some really weird stuff going on. The base commander came out, signed off on it. But there was no real documents. He gave them the go-ahead. And then they started, the truck started moving to South Carolina with these nuclear warheads that were never supposed to be at Dias Air Force Base. And hours later, Senator Lindsey Graham came out and issued a warning. We confirmed it actually happened. And his staffers were like freaking out about it when I called them. And that's recorded up there. I don't think we have that queued up today because there's so much. But ultimately, he was saying, yes, 
you know, I'm concerned about Syria, you know, I'm concerned about Iran, all this stuff. There could be a nuclear attack on uh, South Carolina, Charleston Harbor, I believe it was, mm -hmm. which is right exactly where we, we were told that these uh, weapons were being transferred to. Now, this was hours after we found out about this, so this was hours later. And then, Parallels exactly, exactly what Obama just said about New York, except this was Lindsey Graham talking about South Carolina, and we know that the nukes are headed toward South yeah, Carolina. Yeah, so they, they, if, in the event that they were fully transferred there and not rerouted, they are already there uh, as of months ago, and they could have been rerouted anywhere. So this is what concerns me. Now, beyond all of that, we then, I, I called Dias Air Force, and I will play it when we come back, I guess. But I asked them, hey, can you tell me about the transfer, blah, blah, blah. And they said, well, we can't talk about the transfer of weapons. Well, I didn't even mention the word weapons. So we'll, we'll play that when we come back then. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to have more from Anthony Gucciardi. And we're going to be talking to Gerald Salenti in the next hour. We're going to be talking about the Ukraine, the IMF, and a lot of bankers who seem to be committing suicide. What's up with that? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Did you know that gold and silver contain healing properties? It's true. Since the beginning of mankind's history, gold and silver have not only been used as real money, but also for healing our minds and bodies. Utopiasilver.com is your leading source for colloidal silver and colloidal gold supplement protocols that can heal and enhance your health. Call 888-213-4338 or visit utopiasilver.com for weekly discounts and sales. That's utopiasilver.com. Fighting for liberty and healing one American at a time. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Now, this hour of the Alex Jones Show has been brought to you by My Patriot Supply. We've been talking about all these false flag attacks. It's clear there's no longer time to wait. If you need to start preparing, prepare today. Get on over to MyPatriotSupply.com and check out their complete line of preparedness products. My Patriot Supply is home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. If you don't have food, 
You're no threat to the new world order. They're counting on you to be ever-dependent slaves on their system control. Of control. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex for some special offers to listeners of this broadcast. For a limited time, they're offering additional discounts off their already low prices. That website again is MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Anthony, we were talking just before the break about the interesting parallels of Lindsey Graham being in South Carolina talking about war that's about to break out, war with Syria and other issues uh, going up against the Russians at that time because the Russians were essentially allies of Syria. And this out of the clear blue sky, he brings up the prospect of a nuclear attack there in Charleston Harbor. And that same day, it we had gotten yeah. intelligence that nuclear weapons were on their way from a to South Carolina from a nuclear from a Air Force base that wasn't supposed to have nuclear weapons. It seems to be straight out of their playbook, doesn't it? Yeah. When there's an issue with a foreign power that they want to engage with, they just say, well, there could be a nuclear attack. Mm -hmm. And that's unsubstantiated until you look at the fact that they were transferring the nuclear warheads from Texas to South Carolina, which is concerning. So I don't know what they're going to do. All I know... Are they just fear-mongering or are yeah. they planning a false flag attack? Because they have planned false flag attacks. This is what we spent most of the last couple of hours talking about the long history of false flag attacks in the wake of this one being exposed in Turkey to get... A war started yet again with Syria. World leaders love to at least think of that possibility. I mean, it's happened for thousands of years. It's nothing new. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's it's fact. I mean, that's what you do. You know. I mean, uh, you know, how many times in on a smaller scale have you gone up to your friend and just jokingly, you know, patted him on the side and, and he thought it was one of your other buddies? You know what I mean? Just to to joke around with them. Well, this is a major scale. It's human nature to essentially instigate things that you want done. If, if you're evil then and a world leader, which many of them do get there by being psychopathic and evil, a larger scale is to have a false flag attack. And these people don't have morals. These people don't care about you and they don't care about me. And the very prospect of it is what's concerning. And that's why we need to treat it like a real threat and treat it by exposing it and spreading the information. Because otherwise, we could be facing something very, very much, you know, real. Yeah. And... Uh, it does seem it's just like Syria. We managed to stop that. I mean, mm -hmm. that was a major, major, major victory. Obama was pushing for that harder than I think he's ever pushed for anything. They were trying to sell the narrative that the only way that the sarin nerve gas, the only source, that, place that it could have come from was the Syrian government itself. And yet, as we pointed out, and, and part of the ways that we were fighting back against that false narrative, uh, the truth of the matter was is that there had been sarin gas attacks previously, not that long ago. They've been looked at by both UN inspectors as well as Russian inspectors as well as U.S. intelligence. And they had all determined that the sarin gas at that time had been homemade. It wasn't of the refined quality that, that Syria would have. And, so, and then we had reports as well that uh, there had been some gas that had been brought to that area from some Saudi intelligence. So there were a lot of different things that pointed to the fact that it was not a foregone conclusion that that gas had come from Syria. It actually made no sense at all for them to try to provoke an attack, considering the fact they were surrounded on all sides with everybody pointing their guns at them. But it, it's, it's an amazing thing to see this unfolding in real time. And uh, any last words you want to make about the uh, nuclear? I just think we need to treat it as a realistic threat and, uh, and we need to expose it and get the information out and envision this and we can fight this. We can stop it all. Anthony Gucciardi, thank you for joining us. Thank you for pointing that out. We're going to be back in the next hour with Gerald Salenti. He's going to be talking about you, the Ukraine, what the IMF is up to there, and banker suicide. Stay tuned. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics Advanced Media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. 